Hello YouTube, I'm Music Kev and this is Shovel Knight. And these rocks are explosive. They whenever you attack one of them, they'll act in like a domino effect. I don't like this already. A domino effect all the way across until they've blown up the entire Ugh. until they've blown up the entire set. Okay, if I can just get back a little bit further. Uh, okay, here we go. Eh, okay. Okay. I didn't have to be too nervous about that. I mean, they're not bubbles, but... Okay, so apparently we don't just dive into it. Okay. You can probably guess what the puzzle is here. Smack that one and run like heck. I have to be very careful about what I hit. Uh, I don't want to set off the chain reaction that is that thing, but I also don't want to get hit by the green goopy guys. And here's the item of the game. And the level. In the villager, out in the field, I have all the deals. You're not going to believe what I just found in this chest. Want to see? Dust knuckles. So this lets me punch through dirt. And as long as I'm punching dirt, <coughs> it keeps me at the same height level. Kevin, didn't we talk about how you can't land on them? Which is very good for getting over pits that have dirt on top of them. Stupid mole. <sighs> okay. So I basically just made back everything that I lost on that little deal with Chester. Now, for the record, dude, it's not cool that you bogart all the treasure for yourself and make me pay for it. I mean, I suppose he did find the treasure chest first, but... Oh, and as you can see, I'm bouncing on the screen stuff, which is what that beetle was made out of. And fishing. I hope it's a real fish and not one of those stupid tropical fishes. Thank you. So these green things, as you just saw, can cancel out fire. And I can also do this with them. Which is to say, push them around. And by pushing them around, I make lava bouncy stuff. It's a very cool mechanic. Uh, this one kind of reminds me of um, Donkey Kong Country 2. Can I? Um, Donkey Kong Country 2, where you... I, I want you to go the other way. Can I? No. This way. Donkey Kong Country 2, where you have the um, seal friend who um, makes, who spits into water or lava. Whenever he spits into water, okay, this isn't good. When he spits into water, he um, makes it ice. When he spits, spits into lava, he makes it water. So it lets you swim through lava for a limited amount of time. Um, I air quoted lava. Oh no. Um, or it lets you walk on top of water for a while. Eh, okay, here we go. I don't need to go that way right now. I just need to go this way. Okay. 
Okay, now I just need to time my hit so that I move that thing over there. Good. Ow. Ooh. I almost walked right off the edge. That would have been embarrassing. And a waste of time. I wish I could say I cared about fighting him. This guy. Oh no. Hey, it worked last time. Yeah, having that fire rod as the first item is a pretty good idea. I typically fight everything with my sword, or shovel. But... I almost boned that one. I typically fight everything with my shovel, but... There's no reason to stick to, um... Stick to, um, tradition here, because I'd rather not die. And as you can see, too, um, I don't know if you've been paying attention to the rewards I've been getting from these guys, but some of them reward you more than others. Oh, man. Oh. <sighs> My little beetle friend died. It's so sad. Okay. Here goes nothing. This is the boss of this stage. Ugh, you're out of your depth, Splunker. Are you lost? These ruins belong to the ages, Moon Knight. They're mine now. And more importantly, is that your digging implement? <laughs> I'm astonished you made it ten feet down with that rusty trinket. I will bury you. Okay. Okay. Remember, note to self, I have items for healing magic and stuff. There he is. Ow, ow. Can we stop? Got him. Got him. Ow. Get his butt. Find the real him. He just needs to take one more hit. Really? One more hit, dude. Hold still. Thank you. All his little mole friends come and carry him away. Huh. I think I'm a lot better at this game than I thought I was. Aside from a couple deaths at the beginning, I really haven't died that often. I said jinxing myself. Only you can prevent forest fires. All right, now the reason I was saving my money is because I get to go to this lovely village. And there's another hammer bro like dude. Our scouts saw you approach and we know of your quest. This is the armor outpost. The brave are holed up here, deep in enemy territory. It's dangerous, get equipped. Okay, so the people I need to talk to the King Knight is so regal, it's such a refined fashion sense. But honestly, I'd rather be your queen. Um, thanks? I know there's a way up... Okay, there we go. Here we go. This be, be the aerial anvil. Need some armor upgrade? If you need something forge, I'm your fella. Ha ha ha. Okay. So... 
the ones that I like, my favorite is the Dynamo Mail. So I'm going to get that equipped. This lets me perform a stronger strike after two bounces down. That's a nice shovel blade you have there, lad. But I can improve it, unlock its true abilities. Now, um, the important one are to um, get the faster digging. And I'll take the charge one too. Okay, so now, like I said, I can charge. Horns, the finest instrument, but they only really come to life in a duet. Hint being that I can eventually get it. I do say so. Why, I haven't such, seen such a decadent airship since I sold mine. Ha! And now I can walk my way over here and collect that music. And into this room. Ah, hats. My greatest passion. Nothing I enjoy more than the crisp snap of a well-tailored brim. With my vast riches, I could buy this whole store, but I forgot my wallet. Oh, upstanding knight. Could you part with a paltry 1,000 gold, no? Surely you're in a similar situation too, friend. You forgot your wallet too, yes? Um, actually, I just spent all my money on more useful things. Next time, I'll be using my new powers for evil. No, I'm just kidding. I'm Musikev, and this has been Shovel Knight. See you next time.